Hi, everyone. I'm Paul Yeager. This is the MTOM Show podcast, a production of Iowa PBS and the Market to Market TV show. We're bringing in an old favorite, not old, but just a favorite that we've chatted with before. Farmer Derek is in central Kansas. He's been a guest before when he talked about Eagle Cam and also playing his trombone. We're going to update both of those interests of him. Also talk about owls. I have to admit, we actually didn't even talk farming until we were done recording. But Derek is a guy who has visitors from all over the world online to watch his eagles. And here is that website right there on the bottom of the screen right now, how you would watch Eagle Cam. And it's getting to be pretty exciting because the mama eagle is about to lay an egg. And then you'll just be watching that Eagle Cam all the time, waiting for that thing to hatch. Other people actually come to his farm. Coming up soon, there's actually going to be some Italians. 25, 24 Italians are going to come to his farm to see what it's all about in person. But we get a chance to talk to Derek from his shop. Pretty exciting early on in this interview. Uh, give it a watch to see what happens live when we're chatting. If you have any feedback for me or just want to send me a note, the email is paul.yeager at iowapbs.org. Now. Let's talk all things Kansas, Eagles, and trombones with Derek. Derek, I have a hard time keeping up with everything you do. Do you yeah. have like a physical planner to keep track of everything? Or do you have a spreadsheet in your brain? How do you juggle it all? Yeah, I, I don't write it down. It's all in here. Uh, and it's all at one time, especially when I'm talking to my wife. Does she think you're like on another platform or yeah. another she, planet at some time? She's trying to pull me back, but it's not working. Are you on, when you're on the tractor doing whatever, those are long rows. I always say, you have long rows. You have time to think. Are you thinking or are you trying to like multitask? Oh, thinking. And then sometimes I'm like, stop. We have to like focus. Like if we got to get on the road or something. And you're one of those guys headset all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty well, yeah. Because it's so easy to make a phone call. Are you a talk to texter? Yeah, I feel like Siri's getting worse, but I'll do that, and then I'll spend like five minutes trying to fix it. The last time we talked, um, part of the reason was we, we wanted to learn about Eagle Cam, which we'll talk about. I see we're looking at we're looking at the nest over your shoulder. Yep. Uh, but you also we also talked about music. So let's start with music first because okay. when you and i were messaging earlier this week ahead of this you, you i'd seen a couple of these videos that you sent one of them that stands out i said hey i'm talking to that guy from kansas today where he plays the trombone and the cat oh yeah i remember that and the cat will come running yeah do you redid that one right or you expanded the group yeah yeah so our 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 band director at school was like, hey, my buddy wants to like go out and play to the cows with you. And so they organized, there were six of us trombone guys and I didn't know who was coming. And we showed up at like five in the morning out there when we practiced. Actually, before we, we practiced off yonder and we called those cows in and then we went in and we called them in. And the one guy arranged the song for me and I didn't realize it, but he's the director of the pep band at Wichita State University. And they were all really good. I was, it was impressive. And so, yeah, we went out and played and they came in and those guys were like, can we just keep playing? And I'm like, sure. And then they wanted to come back and they had a really good time. Do the music people know that you do other things like Eagle Cam and I mean, do they know you're this very much all sorts of stuff going on guy? Um, my basic core fan club, like who's mostly on the live cams, no. But yeah, I'm all over the place. My my views on my YouTube channel are really high and my subscriptions are low, I would say, because I'm I'm good at like viral videos and people can't put it together. So does that feel like you are living a double life? Yeah. Um, maybe a tr triple life or more. I don't know. Yeah, it's fun because because I like music, artsy, and then I like well, I like nature, but then I like the whole tech 
the techie thing behind it all. And I like space. And I get really excited about it. And I like the fact that people can watch my live kingdoms and I can remote in and fix things. Like if there's a problem with the deer feeder, I can like listen and I can fix it from my computer at my house. And what are we watching behind you? So that's well, the nest on the big screen, right? Yeah, that's the big eagle nest. Okay. And this is my deer cam. And, and uh, this is a big chunk of ice. I had water there because we went from a drought to this. And so then I got rid of the water tank and there was ice on it and I set it against this fence post. And so we're watching it slowly lean into the fence post. And this is a salt block somebody sent me for Christmas for the deer. And then this is the feeders up here and the... Whoa, 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 whoa. hey, okay. hey. Oh, well, the eagles came Something in. just flew in. That's an eagle. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Holy cow. I think it's got a fish. Does yeah, that happen often? Yeah. Every once in a while they come in. So they're right now they're just, they'll come in and, and mate or uh, eat something or they'll- Oh, there's go. two. There's two. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, I think that's the mom, the bigger one on the left. And that's what? what was a baby at one time on the right? Well, a long time ago, but that's the male. The female's that's bigger. That's the male. Oh, okay. Male, the female female's here bigger because uh, they need all that body mass to keep the egg warm. Okay. And, oh, that's a catfish. <gasps> Where does the, okay, so I'm sorry. You, I was asking if this happens often. Does this happen often? Oh, uh, the food, bringing in food is happening more and more. It wasn't really happening. But like, as they're getting towards closer to laying an egg, they, they go on more dates. That's what I call it. And so they'll eat together in the nest. And because there is an egg there now? No, not yet. No. If once there's an egg, they won't get off of it. Okay. But I think the so egg... They're... The egg should We've come. had the mating. We've had the mating, right? So now yeah, we're just kind of waiting camera. on this. On camera a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are, are those popular things for people to watch? Uh, I don't know for sure, but it's okay. interesting. Yeah. So then we've had, the, we've had the mating. Now we're just waiting on an egg. So this is late January. Is this about the timeline that we'll see an egg? I think it's going to be like first week of February based on what I know about Kansas birds. So we're definitely getting close. And she will sit in the nest and pretend like she has an egg more and more. And she spent the entire night, like three nights ago, sitting there. There's, there's also owls that are trying to steal it. And so they've been guarding it more because the owls could lay an egg any day. And once an owl lays an egg, then that's like their nest? Or yeah. would there be some clash between the owls and the eagles? No, I think whoever lays the first egg, because then it's all defense. And I had that problem three years ago in this nest. Yeah, and um, and uh, I had I had two young eagles, and then the owls moved in and laid an egg, and they've been. This will be their fourth fourth season, and they're about ready to lay an egg there. Fourth season with the owl cam, an yeah, owl we're... nest, and then how many yeah. seasons have we seen an eagle in an eagle nest? Well, the first season it started out eagle, ended up owl, and then this is this is brand new. And I I noticed this nest uh two years ago, two or three years ago. And I went last not this last fall, but the fall before, I went out with my buddy's bucket truck and I went up and I got like halfway up. I'm like, you know, I'm an idiot, but I didn't realize how hot high it was. And so and so I forgot about it. And then that winter, which was last season, they actually had two eaglets. And, and this uh, eagle lady from New Jersey showed up in May, and they went up there with this huge bucket truck, and they, and they tried to tag both of them, and they only got one. And they even put a GPS tracker on it. And, and I pulled up to her, and I'm just, like, freaking out. And she goes, it's Farmer Derek. I'm like, what? She's like, I'm watching all your live cams. Are you kidding me? And then she's like, come here, let's take a selfie. So I ran up, she hands me this huge eaglet and I hold it and we take a selfie together. And I was in shock 
so bad I took no videos of the whole thing. And then I learned about eagles. And so I've been I've been talking to her and then we we followed the eaglet. I named her her Trish after because her name's Trish Miller, the eagle lady. And then that eagle that summer went up to Bismarck, North Dakota. I have this awesome tracker map of it. And then we lost her about in August. So we either the backpack fell off. It's a backpack with a solar panel and it'll dump all the information once it sees a Verizon tower. Either that fell off or she died. Um, now I will say there was a juvenile that showed up like a week ago and, and she's noticed that they'll come back to the nest. And so the, the juvenile got on the nest and the, the parents scared it off and there was no bands. So it could have been the other eaglet that didn't, they didn't tag. And so I'm hoping, I doubt it, but it'd be cool if the banded one shows up, if it's still alive. Now, one thing that happened while we were watching, the YouTubers were watching the chat, is they noticed the female on the left is also banded. I don't, you probably can't see it. it it's kind of hard to see, and, yeah. but, you but you're saying that people have posted pictures or they've zoomed in. You can zoom yeah. in on the camera, right, and see the band? Yeah, so I made it so that you can type in, in on chat, and that camera will start to zoom in. And so they zoomed in, and they read one of the bands, and it said uh, 53. And it has purple on it, which means it's a Kansas bird. Now, we can't see the letter above it, but we're pretty sure that it means it's a, that we know where it, where it originated from. So uh, my eagle lady, I haven't told anybody this. This is a big deal. So my eagle lady called a lady she knows in eastern Kansas, Michelle, and uh, they found out she tagged this eagle in, at Clinton Lake in Lawrence, Kansas, 10 years ago. So I, I have to tell my chat that they're going to be so pumped. So she's 10 that... and I'm going to go there with my buddy who has a little small airplane. I'm going to, I haven't gone there yet. I'm going to fly there and we're going to check out where she came from the nest. And there's a good chance her mom's still alive. Where did all of this Eagle interest come from? Well, like we never had Eagles. They were rare until like five years ago. And there's just, they've just moved. Yeah. And that's why Trish Miller is doing a study here in central Kansas because yeah, just the way they're just exploding down here and she is learning. There is some differences so far, and this will help a lot too. We get to watch and see what's happening. And the people on my chat document everything and they're very helpful and they know a lot about Eagles. And we, are you saying Trish said they're helpful because like she can go back and see when people make notations of, of certain yeah. things happening that are of interest to her? Yeah, well, I, I do that. I have people message me. I have one lady that actually screen records like when the juvenile showed up. And so I can go look at her videos. And so I'll, they'll all, I'll compile all that. And then I'll let Trish know if there's something crazy out. It's really neat. And you said Trish is from New Jersey? She's from Kansas originally, but now she's in okay. New Jersey. And she... I called her the other day and she said she was in Arkansas trapping golden eagles in the snow. I'm like, I want to go. What are you? This lady's crazy, man. And is she an academic? What, when you say research or trapping? Yeah, she's like, yeah, it's all research. Like she had okay. permission from the feds and the state and this Kansas Wildlife and Parks was out there when we, when we were tagging it. Yeah, she's where she's, I think it's a nonprofit. I forget now, but it's all research. And you're telling me she didn't know she was actually on Derek's farm well, until you show up that day? Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not technically, it's, it's just a few miles from here and my neighbor has it. And so, uh, um, he, all of a sudden he was like, you know, Father Derek lives, lives here. And she's like, what? So they called me out there, but, and, and the landowner's great. He loves this. He, he'll let me do whatever. I, this is all off grid. I have. I have solar panels and Starlink providing internet. It's a pain in the butt, but I got it to work. But people clearly love it because yeah. they come back. Like you mentioned, they will watch for hours at a time. Yeah. And and they get to, you know, take control. Like like you can feed the deer cam. You want me to send some corn down it? Can you see it very well? I can kind of see it. Can you show me the uh, the ice? Can you zip into the ice? Or is that not? Yeah, should I just can... pull it closer? 
Well, no, go. Uh, no, I like our our interview setup, but on the computer, Here. can you? Oh, yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. Zoom manually zooming. Manually yeah. zooming. A little more steady. We would say in the TV business, Derek, we'd say, slow down on two. Slow down on two. Easy, <laughs> easy. Don't suck our eyes out. That's a good TV uh, technical term we're giving you there. Okay. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop the feed. Oh, hold on. And then it'll be a little delay. That's fine. And they, they can, Eric, I can see it. There it goes. Did you see it? Yeah. Hey, they, if you send a super chat, that will make the feed come out. And then they can also control it. Left, right, up, down, zoom in. So they'll like, they'll like film birds in the trees and stuff. So which did come first? Eagles or trombones in fields and all your music oh, shenanigans? Trombone fields shenanigans okay. first. Okay, so music was first, and that was what was your platform in the beginning and what year? Just catch us up again. The trombone one was uh, 2014. Yeah, that and seems then, about right. What does the farmer say? A parody was 2013, but I really hit it hard in 2012 in my shop here, like during the night. And you did a video last year, I think in 23, to a Billie Eilish song where, again, you're in the feedlot, but it was one take. I mean, yeah. that we saw. There's no editing to it. Right. I, I got bored with editing parodies, and I'm tired of sitting in front of the computer. So with TikTok, you got one minute. They'll let you play a song for one minute. I figured that out while I was doing it. And so the whole thing is one shot. And so I, it was, it took a long time to organize and I practiced a lot, but, and I actually did it in one take because I was like, my brothers and dad are going to be irritated if I do this again. Plus there was a scared horse involved. Well, okay. Let me, so how it starts out with, see, I have these crazy water fountains I made in the stock tanks. So my daughter was sitting there. She was, she's 10 and she hits the water fountain and that signals for me to start my video. So everything lines up and then I do my video and my dad and brothers are all moving trucks and tractors. And then I'm running through the pen. I'm on a four wheeler. And then I end up going up the, the, um, the loadout into a semi and my brother has a horse there for me to jump on. When we found out the horse couldn't see me until I was right there, we should have backed the horse up. And the horse freaked out. And my brother's like, he's dead. And, and I was like, one take. So I jumped on and held on really tight. And we took off. And we got it. We nailed it. My audio cut out right before I got on the horse. But I kept lip syncing and it, it lined up. I was pretty proud of myself. Better to be lucky than good in situations like that. Yeah. I, I had seen the video of you getting the silage dumped on you. Uh, that that was what I that is and I do remember watching until the end but I didn't realize the horse I just thought it was just an aggressive horse I should have known that that horse was spooked when it didn't see what was coming came on yeah. and off we go yeah she even moved away so I jumped I had to spring out and get on her it worked out oh the music um uh, let's go to music for just a let's stick with music for a minute you also uh have done uh, you've already you already had done interaction with the local school, right? And you still continue to do that and local college, one of the colleges and yeah. the universities around you. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, I've been doing stuff. Well, where my girls go to school, they all all the kids like it when I show up. And yeah, this for the Christmas program, the grade school Christmas program, I uh, played my trombone with them, and that was a lot of fun. And there's a new choir director and she danced along and it was it was cool do you think in the interview for her uh they said you do realize who's in this school district no i don't know oh someone famous yes <laughs> farmer Derek, and he is going to want to be a part of all of the things you do <laughs> yeah that's right she didn't know who i was and then all of a sudden she was like oh wait i used to watch him <laughs> You were a star then, and you just didn't know it, how big of a deal and influence you were. And see, she stuck with music, so it worked. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
I think before the last time we chatted, uh, I had showed video of of you with uh, there was a choir around some hay bales, and I think you mentioned Wichita State, uh, the, the the pep band director. Uh, I, do you just love how music has been able to bring people together? Yeah, on so many levels. Yeah, so I deal with Wichita State now, and and the choir that came out to sing to my owls and sing to my green band is Bethel College in Newton. And yeah, I mean, I just crave people because I'm around, you know, cows and eagles all the time. And so, yeah, it's way just, it's just way too much fun. And I get all these crazy opportunities. I get to meet professionals, you know, like at NASA or, or big news people like, like Paul here. And it's, <laughs> and it's really, it's really interesting. Uh, your payment for saying that is coming, by the way. Thanks, Derek. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. <laughs> but, but it's just cool to watch their style and what kind of a person a, a professional is. I really enjoy it. And they're all cool. You, you say things you've met places you've gone. Um, you did go, uh, international, right here recently, yeah. Agritechnica. Yeah. I go to Germany pretty much every year and I was just at Agritechnica and for fun, they made me the ambassador of Kansas. And, uh, did you know that was coming? Yeah, yeah, we planned it. And I don't know if you saw the video. I There was two Germans going to Bethel College, and I had them pretend like they worked for the company, and they kidnapped me on the side of the road. And that was, I actually, my daughter was driving. It was just hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. And then they were like, you have to go to Agritechnica. I'm like, okay, fine. And so, yeah, I went there, and I, I have so many European friends. I love it, and I keep meeting more. And it's exhausting, but they're great. So an event like that, I mean, are you asked to speak at events now, or is it just more of a, oh, here's Derek, uh, make an appearance and you kind of talk about your videos or how's that work? Yeah. So like I did a thing for NASA at Commodity Classic last year and I actually spoke at their booth and, um, but, but Agritechnica this year, it's different every year. And, um, basically they just want me there and yeah, like here's Derek and, uh, there's a lot of influencers now. There wasn't that many. Now there's a lot to show up. And so I hang out with them and we just have a good time. I do make videos leading up to the show to try to promote it. But yeah, I mean, we just got it. We just want to, they just want Americans to get together with Europeans because it's just good. You're an influencer, right? I guess. You know what? In Germany, the Germans are like, you're not an influencer. You're a creator. I'm like, that's fine. That's probably correct. Why are you thinking about this? <laughs> They're just trying to understand us Americans. Yeah, that's right. I had more than one. They're like, you're not an influencer. Because you you go back to uh, the people that have interviewed you, whether it's news people or whatever, but <laughs> the influencer gets the tag too often of they're not real. Or they're not genuine. Really? I don't even know. But I, I always find, I mean, if we want, we could talk corn, beans, and wheat right now if you want, Derek. You're a real person to me. I, right. I don't see you as, you're a guy who has some fun hobbies that just happen to be a little more public than, than others. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm real. I don't like it if people are intimidated. And so I always try to calm them down, really. Because I just want to be best friends, you know. Do you wear a shirt that says, I am a big deal, but I'm approachable? That's the that's what you should have. Yeah, that's funny. Do like you that. find, um, so, okay, Ted Lasso is something uh, they talked to, I didn't know the term, the ussy instead of the selfie. Do you get ussies in Europe, in Germany, or is that more, oh. more England and other places? Wait, and I see. they want to take with you. Is like two yeah. people in the rest of Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, if I had a camera right now, I would, you know, we're going to take an ussy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No. No, I did it. And I even told them I was going to, like, do that with everyone. And no, no, they're great. Um, yeah, I took lots of ussies. And I don't. All right, that, yeah. 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 Okay. So, either they want to or I want to. Yeah. I personally love ussies. Because, yeah. I don't know, I love cameras. Knowing you. Yeah. 
I wouldn't be in this if I didn't, I suppose. Although I do look at myself going, oh, I need to sleep more or I, you know, yeah. lay off that cheeseburger. The So your daughters now are of an age, have they crossed into the we're embarrassed by dad and, and the attention he brings on a medium that's designed for kids, not for adults? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. I've got three girls, sophomore, eighth grade, fifth grade. And they'll pretend like they're embarrassed, but they're not. So, so far, they're all into it, which is weird. And so we'll see how long that lasts. And they harass me. They're like, they'll lie about my age before I can get into a public setting. They'll, they'll tell everybody. And then they've decided they're not calling me dad anymore. It's just all Derek. And so yeah. if I start yakking, they're like, okay, Derek. Yeah. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Good to know your kids are like mine because they'll say, oh, Paul's here. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Still your dad. You're not 18 yet, kid. So yeah. easy on that. Yeah, I pretend like I'm mad, but it's so funny. <laughs> but isn't it fun to sit there and have a good conversation with their friends? And oh, not, yeah. I mean, I that's part of it that I've enjoyed of, you know, getting to really know those kids. And, you know, the, you just happen to have a, a gateway in, a, a, mm -hmm. a good conversation starters. Oh, you're Farmer Derek. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, of course I love talking to kids and now, now some of them just come up and they're like, Hey girl. And I'm like, Hey girl. <laughs> All right. You're ahead of me on that one. You have girls. I have boys. That's different. I don't get oh, to do you that. You got boys. Yeah. I have boys. Yeah. I, I have a lot of boys come up too. They like to talk about machinery. Well, do you ever get asked? Yeah. Do you ever get asked about farming actually? Oh yeah. You know, Oh yeah, the Germans for sure. But no, no, farmers are all, you know, farmers, they're always asked about the farm. So we always talk about that. And it's more relevant for farmers. Do, do other farmers actually admit that they know you from, do they even acknowledge that they know this Eagle guy or the band guy? <clears throat> they just look at you as farmer guy? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that don't admit it, I've noticed, but... <laughs> Some do. We'll have like semi truck drivers show up with like machinery and they'll get out and they're like, I want to take a picture with you. <laughs> Funny. And then we just have a great conversation. Do you think they saw, they're like, nah, this can't be. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is the Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Now, I don't care. I just want to be best friends. So whatever it takes. You're in central Kansas, right? Yeah. So, I mean, everybody knows everybody, right? I mean, there's yeah. not that many that they all know who you are. I suppose. I'll, I'll see families start staring at me when we're eating now, and I'm like, oh, better go talk to them. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah, but I like awkward. Yeah. Do you make it awkward? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Well... No, with like fans, my goal is to try to, I try to have a set thing that I do because I want them to feel welcome. And so I'll make sure I ask them their name or like, and where are they from? And stuff. Instead of just like go awkward on them. Yeah. You want to take my picture with me in it or? Uh, oh yeah. yeah I'm yeah. just like, want a picture? <laughs> <Let's take laughs> okay. So let's go with your family then on a trip and you're not going to agritechnica or you're going, say you're on some car trip, four or five States away. Do people recognize you? Uh, not very much. Sometimes my wife will instigate like on an airplane. You're like, you seen that cow trombo video? They're like, yeah. She's like, that's that guy right there. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I don't want to. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See what I get, and again, audiences mix. I do some sports here for Iowa PBS, and okay. on the Saturday of the Girls State Basketball Championships, as I'm hosting the coverage, I wear a pink coat. So I'm known as Pink Coat Guy. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. They don't know me as Paul, but I'll have farmers who are there with a basketball team during the week, and they'll say, I can't believe what Sue Martin said on your show last week, you know, and, and, and <laughs> yeah. they know and, and, but they're kids that they have no idea if I'm at a basketball tournament, what my other job is. Right. And it's just fun to be in that different world. And, and, and you can, you can be in those different worlds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with like the smartest people in the world 
world when I go to NASA or whatever. And then, and then you got the people growing the food world and then you got the, the news world and then just kids. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. All right. Let's close with this. Uh, Eagles have now departed, but if you watch the Eagle cam, um, look in the chat, right. For things that were kind of exciting that may have happened. If you're new to the, the cam, is that right? Yeah. And if you want to, to get involved, they're very friendly. And like, I have two, two moderators, Tracy and Marilyn, and you can either ask them or ask. There's a bunch of others who will answer any of your questions. It's really cool. And that, that again is relationships. You made them feel welcome and the community made them feel welcome and, and they're ambassadors for you and for the camp. Yeah. It's, it's strange, but yeah, there's just this whole family there. And Marilyn was just, I think she, she was in the ICU here and I think she just got out. And so everybody's excited. She's back. And I'm excited. She's back. Cause I was in the dark on some stuff. Cause it's hard to keep track of everything, but yeah. And new things for us to watch here in the coming months. Anything? I mean, you've already given us one bit of breaking news uh, about what's to come. Anything else happening that we should be on the lookout for from you, Derek? Uh, I don't think so. Like, I've done a lot of crazy stuff, so we're just taking a break. I, I'm big into rockets, so I'm watching SpaceX, and I feel like there's something. Like, no, there's there's really nothing exciting right now, but, you know, like, something will just pop up be on the lookout for what farmer Derek comes up yeah. with next it's There's always no out schedule. there yeah it just happens and that makes it fun oh yeah Derek, i appreciate it good to see you thank you and uh, always love catching up with you it's always a hoot you too paul keep an eye out on that cam pretty fun days ahead if you like nature Next week on Tuesday, a new episode will drop of this podcast in audio and video form. We appreciate you consuming it, whichever way it is that you do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.